Welcome to Stay Strong in September. During this lockdown period, there are lots of activities like sporting activities that we can't do at the moment. And so for some of you, getting out and doing things is much harder at the moment than it might normally be. But there are also others in the community who are using the opportunity to go for more walks and activities like that. And I want to encourage you to be doing some exercise. It is really good for your well-being and health and uh, well worth planning into your day if at all possible. Particularly as people get older, uh, those who don't regularly have activity as part of their life find they start to get more limited because of their health uh, and are restricted from participating in things. So it's well worth planning ahead, doing some activity if we can at all do so. Let's pray before looking at today's Bible passage. Lord, thank you that you are with us and you care about all our needs. Thank you that you speak to all sorts of aspects of our life in the Bible. Help us to listen today. In Jesus' name, Amen. We're reading from 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 12 to 28. Now we ask you, brothers and sisters, to acknowledge those who work hard among you, who care for you in the Lord, and who admonish you. Hold them in the highest regard in love because of their work. Live in peace with each other. And we urge you, brothers and sisters, warn those who are idle and disruptive. Encourage the disheartened. Help the weak. Be patient with everyone. Make sure nobody pays back wrong for wrong. But always strive to do what is good for each other and for everyone else. Rejoice always. Pray continually. Give thanks in all circumstances. For this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Do not quench the spirit. Do not treat prophecies with contempt. But test them all. Hold on to what is good. Reject every kind of evil. May God himself, the God of peace, sanctify you through and through. May your whole spirit, soul and body be kept blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. The one who calls you is faithful, and he will do it. Brothers and sisters, pray for us. Greet all God's people with a holy kiss. I charge you before the Lord to have this letter read to all the brothers and sisters. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. At the end of this letter in the Bible, there's a whole range of different practical instructions they're given of things that they should do and put into practice in their life. Just two things I want to note today. We're particularly urged to be rejoicing always and praying continually. When things are hard, it's hard sometimes to rejoice, to find things to be thankful to God for, but nonetheless we're encouraged to do that because there are always things, even amidst the hard times, when there are positive things God has done for us and to focus on them rather than just the problems is the appropriate thing to do but also really good for us and how we're going. Secondly, this part focuses on acknowledging those who are serving hard within the church, who are faithful in what they are doing and to hold them in high regard in love. And where I'm very thankful in our church that we have a range of people who serve faithfully, who work hard to support and enable what's going on in so many ways. It would be really good if we were supporting them in that. I know some of the things they're doing you can't see at the moment. You may not be observing as much because we're not gathering together. But much of that work is still happening week by week, day by day. We'd appreciate your prayers. I'd appreciate your prayers for my ministry as I lead our church, as I prepare and teach God's Word, as I do other things behind the scenes to keep our team working and our ministries happening and us reaching out to the community with the good news of Jesus. Thanks for those who have been expressing their thankfulness and encouragement for that. Uh, can I encourage you to keep that going and be doing so also for other people on our team? Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we do thank you for those you've gifted within our church to serve in our midst, both those who are staff and those who are volunteers. Lord, 
so little could happen without their help and involvement. And so we pray that you'll encourage them in their service, particularly at this time when things are harder, where we need to be creative in what we're doing. Uh, we pray, Lord, that our church will always put you first and continually seek to do things in a way that brings you the glory you deserve. Help us all, Lord, to uh, find ways to encourage and support them in their service, that it may be a joy and not a burden. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a great day.